Hi, I'm Geek Squad agent Jen Knight, and I'm excited to be your instructor for our Geek Squad Academy course on robotics. So first off, what is Geek Squad Academy? Well, it's a program run by Best Buy Canada that teaches cool technology courses to kids just like you all across the country. Our courses share our passion for technology and discovery, and we hope that you learn something new and find something that you're passionate about through tech. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to code robots. Coding is part of many careers in STEM, and with robotics being used in industries like healthcare, aerospace, and construction, those of you interested in robotics could make it a part of your future. In this course, we're gonna learn the basics of coding using block programming, and you'll use this knowledge and your problem-solving skills to complete challenges. By the end of the course, you'll be able to use basic code to draw a shape and play games with a virtual robot, just like the one I have here. This iRobot root coding robot has wheels, lights, sounds, and can draw using a marker. To follow along, open up your internet browser and type this URL into the search bar, code.irobot.com. You can also download the iRobot coding app on iOS or Android. This is where you'll program your virtual robot. I have the same app here on my iPad that connects to my real life robot so we can code together. To code your robot, you'll first need to know a bit about programming. So what is programming? Well, programs are the way that computers perform tasks. People often think that the computers are smarter than they are. The truth is, computers don't do anything unless they have been told through commands. Computers need to know every step and every detail of the task that they are asked to perform, or the programs won't work properly. Think about making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich as an example. You simply couldn't tell a robot to make a sandwich. They don't know what that means. You'd need to tell it every single step, like where to get the peanut butter, how to open a jar, or where to get a knife. If you don't tell it every single step in the right order, it'll either stop working or you'll just end up with a big mess. So how do you talk to your computer? Like people, computers have different languages. Computers have to be told what language to speak as part of your code. Block programming is how you can write code without knowing the language. Think of it like a translation. The blocks turn your commands into code. Let's go back to our coding app and open a new project by pressing the plus sign. You'll see all kinds of blocks at the bottom of your screen. Each of them performs a different function. But don't get overwhelmed. The names of these blocks give us a clue about what they do. First are event blocks. These blue event blocks each start a new line of code. They tell your robot where to start or how to respond to a certain stimuli. For example, when it is touched or when you press play. Hint, you'll always need a blue event block at the beginning of your code so your robot will start. Yellow command blocks give your robot instructions that have a beginning and an end. These are things like turn right 90 degrees or move forward 16 centimeters. Green setter blocks tell the robot to change certain actions, like the wheel speed, turning its lights on, or raising its marker up. Aqua flow blocks tell your robot how to read your code through logic. For example, flow blocks can tell your robot how many times to repeat a set action or where to read next. They set the whole flow to your actions. Now that you know the blocks, what shape do you think this code will make? If you guessed a star, you're right. Let's try to code something together. How about something more simple, like a square? How would you code a square? Drag and drop your blocks and let's see how it goes. Sometimes it takes some trial and error, which is okay. That's how we learn. I'm gonna code a score on my iPad with my robot. If you haven't gotten yours yet, why don't you follow along? We got it, now let's have some fun. You can search around the site and play all kinds of different games and challenges. Once you get more comfortable, you can try coding whenever you want. How about spelling your name or drawing a picture of your favorite animal? How cool is that? Thanks so much for joining me to learn about robotics. I hope you learned something new and had lots of fun. To find more Geek Squad Academy activities, visit us at bestbuy.ca slash Geek Squad Academy online.